Here's a quick list of 7 of my favorite effects in DaVinci Resolve. Effects that add something interesting to your videos. So visual effects. Effects that create atmosphere. Effects that you can see, but if done right, no one will actually know that you've added them. Here we go. This is probably the most drastic and difficult effect on the list, but once you get the hang of it, it's almost like magic, and it will allow you to replace a boring, plain-looking sky with a beautiful, cloudy, textured sky. So, in the color tab, first make a selection of the sky. You can use Magic Mask or the Qualifier tool. Then look for the Sky Replacement tool in Effects, add it, connect it like this, and then just play around with the settings until you get the sky that you like. And if it's a moving shot, you can even track that movement so that everything will look super realistic. Definitely not easy, but super useful. So let's say you've color graded your footage to look like old film, but you feel like it's missing something. Well, that something might be prism blur. The prism blur effect makes your footage look like as if it was shot with an old lens. So just drop the prism blur effect on a node, play around with the settings so that it looks just right for your video, and then if, for example, you only want the edges of the frame blurred, so, you know, make it look like a vignette, then just go to window here, add a circular window, invert it, and now only the edges of the frame are affected by the blur effect. Then just resize it, make the transition a bit softer, and done. The camera shake effect is what you need, for example, when you filmed yourself using a tripod, but you want it to look like it was shot handheld. It's super easy, just drop the camera shake effect on your footage, adjust settings like motion and speed scale, amplitude, and most importantly, randomness, to get a super realistic handheld effect. So you wake up at 5 in the morning because you want to capture some of those super cool sun rays coming through the trees, but instead, it looks like this. Not one ray in sight. Well, luckily, you can also add them in Resolve. Just drop the light rays effect on your footage, adjust the settings, angle and color, and boom, perfect rays every time. Halation is one of my absolute favorites. And if you also like the vintage film look, then this might also be the effect for you. When you drop it on your footage, it will create that soft glow around highlights and high contrast areas as if it was shot on film. And you can even add film grain in one go. And if you want film grain, but without the halation, well, just use the film grain effect. It's one of those effects that, if done right, the viewer won't see it necessarily, but they can definitely feel it. You can play around with some of the presets or just create your own custom film grain. Some people love flares, others try to avoid them at all costs, I love flares. Whether it's a sun flare or a crazy blue anamorphic flare, I love them all. Now, ideally, I try to catch them in camera with the right lens or the right lighting conditions, but sometimes, of course, there's no other way than to do it in post. Just add the flare effect, pick a preset you like, a late afternoon sun flare or a sci-fi looking anamorphic flare. And of course, you can also create your own custom flare and adjust intensity and size. And if it's a moving shot, you can also track the movement of that shot so that everything looks super realistic. And then the lens reflections effect is a similar effect, but it will give you a more dreamy look. And let's add one bonus effect. Have you ever seen footage shot with a tilt shift lens so that everything looks miniature? Well, you can also apply a tilt shift blur in Resolve. And you can use it to create that miniature effect. But I usually use it in the same way as the prism blur. Or I combine it with the prism blur or another effect to make my footage look like as if it was shot with an old crooked lens. I love that stuff. And that's it, some of my favorite effects to add something interesting to my videos, to my shots, in case I didn't get it right on location, in camera. But of course, always remember that these effects are not meant to fix bad shots. Always try to get the best possible result on location, in camera. Okay, thank you so much for watching and see you in the next one.